everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mission Impact Series. Long day, huh? Long day. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. Okay, so this is the last installation of the series, Slaying Social Issues with Social Impact Businesses, right? So in the first of this series, we talked about the power of social impact businesses. The second one we talked about, so you need to go watch these, right? Um, starting a social impact business. We talked about how to start one and you know what to look out for. Then in the last one, we talked about social in, um, entrepreneurship as a tool for systemic change. That's change on a fundamental level that takes time, right? And today we're going to be talking about challenges and opportunities in social entrepreneurship ecosystem, right? Um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Go on over and like Ty's channel, which is um, Capacity Central, and do the same over there. These videos will be on her channel as well, as well as over here, so you can double like, right? We don't put them out at the same time, but they all get put up at some point in time, right? Um, so in this series, we're going to be talking about, we're going to discuss the challenges and opportunities facing the social entrepreneurship ecosystem, including issues related to funding. Again, we talk about funding, right? Oh <laughs> Collaboration and scaling impact. Um, this includes exploring the roles of corporate social responsibility. We talked a lot about that this morning and another something that we were doing this morning in supporting social entrepreneurship, as well as discussing emerging trends and, and innovations in the social entrepreneurship space. So if this is your first time catching us, or you've been here before, I'm still gonna introduce myself, <laughs> right? So my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of Impactors Management Group. I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyles that they desire while impacting their communities. All right, and I'm Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mainly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Chris, I love, I love this whole social impact is kind of sexy, right? It's like, look, you got, like, you got, like, it's, it's, it is. It's it is. Of, you know, it's, it's trendy now. You know, people kind of trying to learn the terminology behind it, but it's really uh -huh. an exciting move. Yeah, I think. you know, you have people who start for profits and they're like, I really want to give back. I really want to do this thing. You know, how do I do this thing? Um, and I love just telling people that to give back and help out, you don't have to start a nonprofit. Right, just do right? it. <laughs> That's my thing, right? Mm -hmm. So I worked with nonprofits for many, many years, and I just found myself realizing that nonprofit was just not where it was at for mm -hmm. most people. For nonprofits most are going people. nowhere, and I still they're fundamental to the society they're needed but for mm -hmm. most people nonprofits is just not for them mm -hmm. you're looking for income you're looking for legacy building opportunities and that you will not find my dear in a nonprofit organization right. Right. in any way form or fashion will you find it in a nonprofit organization and I, I preach that all the time people are like ty you work with nonprofits every day and i'm like well you look <laughs> I don't get the is a for-profit business. I don't get, I don't get you, you know, right. get you exactly. We come in, you can come, <laughs> in, you know, whatever. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if your goal is to, you know, build a legacy for your family, if you're want, if you're, there's other things you can do other than a traditional nonprofit. And I think that you know people just didn't understand that until the mm -hmm. whole social enterprise wave came about, and people still don't understand social enterprise, but. For most people who are starting these things on their own, you know, especially those who are not a lot of a lot of people that I see coming to nonprofits now are, are doing it with passion. I said it was hard work. A lot of the grassroots people, you know, they're just kind of like, I need to do this thing. But many of them have not graduated to a place where they could be 100 percent immersed in charity, right. you know, in charitable work. They should be doing something. For profit, they should. You have to live your life first, right? Um, mm -hmm. Even though we said you know, give first and it'll come back. There's a way that you can do this in a profit or in a in a, a for-profit manner where you can sustain your lifestyle and you can do what you got to do and you still give back yes. at the same time without having that you know that whole 
100% traditional nonprofit as the as a thing because you know and I, I know a lot of people do this because they say well I gotta get grants I got you could you don't have to be a nonprofit to get grants right I don't know right. why people always think that they have to be yes there are grants that are specific to nonprofits but that's why we have fiscal agents and that's why we have um you know we have hybrid nonprofits we have other options. Mm -hmm. Besides, well, becoming I, I anything like you know, if you, you can, do you just take my kid? What are my other options? Do I start mm -hmm. a nonprofit? What are my other? What are my options? Mm -hmm. Is there something else I can do? If this is what my goal is, what other options do I have to get me there? Right. It's not you know, never always this one just way. one path, right? You know, there are lots of different ways to get to the end goal, and that's what I tell people. Right? Is that um. Like I was saying earlier, I found myself working with both nonprofits and for-profits at the same time. And every time I would work with a for-profit business, I would try to change them into a nonprofit model. And then I learned that there was a word for it. It was called social enterprise, right? So it's where you join both forces together and you become a superpower. That's what I do, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> um, because you get the best of both worlds. You get to Huh? I said, put that S on your. Oh team. yeah, the, I know, right? <laughs> right, but social enterprise, right? So, um, you get the most, best of both worlds. You get to control your income, um, how you hire, fire, how much you take home. Without in nonprofits, you don't get to do that. You're ran by the board. The board determines how much money you make, and it's a percentage, a small percentage of what the nonprofit is building is bringing in. Because you can't make a hundred thousand dollars and they pay you seventy thousand dollars. It just it just can't work, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you still get to make the impact in the community that you want to make, either through your own business, in alliance with a nonprofit or a nonprofit. So you can do it in so many different ways, right? You still get access to um, grants. You get access to PRIs, right? You get access to um, loans at low interest rates. You get access to a pool of money. Plus, the biggest thing is you can generate as much revenue as you want to um, selling your products and services that you can use to help to subsidize your um, social cause right so there's so many different opportunities so many ways um like we used to say um my grandmother used to say so many ways to skin a cat right <laughs> so there's one way to skin a cat right <laughs> um and get to the goal that you're looking for the social um entrepreneurship ecosystem is wide you just have to really truly understand what it is and how to navigate it so that everybody is benefiting from it, not just you. It's not a selfish ecosystem. It's a collaborative ecosystem. Yep. Collaborative. Yeah. And everybody. Right. And oh, I wanted to hit on social, um, corporate social responsibility. So corporate social responsibilities, where social um, corporations have a responsibility to their communities to give back in some way. Right. It's like. It's not a law, but it's really it's something that they they commit to doing. So mm -hmm. a lot of so um, corporations have created foundations, right? Mm -hmm. So that they can give a percentage of that foundation, like five percent. It's not a lot, but it's a lot, right? Depending on how much money they put into it initially, right? Um, so they can give back to help communities thrive because they just can't keep taking and taking and taking and taking. So their corporate social responsibility, and it changes from time to time. So this year may be domestic violence. Next year might be POC or BIPOC or whatever, right? It, they, they change with the wind. So when you're getting those types of monies, you cannot rely on that, right? Right, And that's why they always ask the question, especially those types of corporations, they really ask the question like, how are you going to sustain beyond this? And you have to have a plan for sustainability. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I forgot to change. I said I was going to share my acronym for sustainability. I got it up. I was waiting for that. I was like, well, I that. That was like two episodes ago. <laughs> I, I ain't got it. Right? Yes. So sustainability, strategic planning, understanding environmental impacts. And that doesn't mean just the environment. It can be internal, external environment, um, social responsibility, 
transparent reporting. All right now. <laughs> Advocacy and education, internal sustainability practices, not um, natural resource management, acts, uh, assessment and monitoring, business model in um, innovation, investment in sustainable solutions, mm -hmm. right? Long-term thinking, um, impact measurements and evaluations, triple bottom line accounting. All right. And your community engagement. I love that. You said you've been in your writing bag, girl. You've been thinking. I you, like, I've been, been in it. You're in that bag. You're like, look, how about this? <laughs> Let me lay that out. Like, yeah, I have been in it. I was just like, I keep talking about sustainability. I said, sustainability has to have That's something it. at its core. And I sat yeah. down and I was like, how can I create an acumen? Now you have built a whole wild. class, right? You have built a whole training model on each of those letters. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's good. And we're talking about this, how you monetize this stuff, right? You know? <laughs> The sustainability system. Listen, we just came up with something. I'm writing it down. Right there, sustainability the system. sustainability right? the system. Stuff. How many weeks is that? How many letters is that? A lot of weeks. There you go. There you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. But anyway, so that concludes our series on um, slaying social issues with social impact businesses. I hope that the entire series was beneficial to everybody and that you learned something. Again, if you have questions, go visit our website. Go to um, my website. I didn't put it up, but you can find me either at TVA Consulting Group or Impactors Management Group. Ty is Ty Boone Enterprises. And then go like her um, YouTube page at Capacity Central. Um, we've been doing this collectively. <laughs> We're old. So we've been doing this collectively for about 50 years, <laughs> right? We've been doing this collectively for about 50 years. We both have um, over 20 years of experience in this industry. And we just really want to make sure that people are out here thriving and not hurting people um, because of your lack of knowledge. Um, but no, we're not going to do it for you for free. Um, we do charge. <laughs> so, yeah, so we do charge, but we do these for free because, you know, we're all about giving back to and we know not everyone can afford what um, the prices that we charge. So if we can drop some tidbits here that you can hold on to and build a better system for your organization, why not? That's it. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>